Yo, what's up everybody? I am back with another unboxing. Now, today we got something that I don't usually play with. Uh, I got something from Chrome Kendamas. Um, so yeah, my first one. Um, I have another one that I've been playing with. Um, got the feel for it and everything like that. Had to buy another one, not only for the video, but I wanted to have one to rock, one to stock, you know, you know how it is. So uh, let's just get into it. All right, so first things first, we got the box. And this is, you know, quite different than uh, any other Kendama that I've received, you know, box-wise, packaging-wise. Um, they got their own Chrome Kendama branded box with a Chrome Kendama hit on the top, a little design on the bottom. And obviously we got Chrome right on the front. So um, yeah, let's just uh, get this baby open. The exacto knife. Put that on. Okay, so right away we got a little message from Chrome. Starts off with "Yo, congratulations on your brand new Chrome product. Thank you for picking up." Blah 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 blah. So that's right there. That's pretty cool. Whole whole big message. And again, like I said, this is very different than any other, you know, Kendama that I've gotten before, you know, box-wise. Very nice presentation. Um, yeah. So inside, what we got is... Ooh! Chrome Jody Barton collab Pink Skeletons. Mm. So like I said, I already have one of these. I've been playing with it for a couple weeks now. Um, you know, I just wanted to have one for down the road, you know, when that one gets a little seshed. Um, and I need a freshie, so uh, yeah, definitely an awesome kendama. Um, super different than what I usually play with, you know, shape-wise and um, and paint-wise, really. But it's a lot of fun. It's uh, it's definitely honed for a lot of different things. So taking a look at the box on the front, we got a little skeleton um, decal right above the chrome, and then under that we got Jody Barton, uh, world champ owned and endorsed. So that's pretty sweet. On the side we got some more skeleton design. On the back, uh, looks like we got some information on Jody himself, uh, the graphic designer that's responsible for this design. Um, and then below that, it shows what the package includes. So it includes the Kendama, of course, an extra string, stringing tool, um, a little poster, and of course, your sticker pack. Um, and then a little bit about the AK shape. Uh, it's got a war pole, a 60 millimeter Tama, it's full maple, um, and then we got the matching string, 55 centimeters on that. Um, and then it comes with a spinner bearing, not a bead. Um, and then, of course, this custom box. And then on the top, we got that little thought bubble that that skeleton has. Um, pretty cool. So, box is pretty cool. <laughs> right, so, we'll get rid of this and get into the goods here. So, Jody Barton, he designed three kendamas for chrome kendama um, and this is one of the three so if it'll come out sheesh there we go so we'll put this aside for now so what comes in the, oh my gosh so what comes in the box is a couple stickers these are really sweet some jody barton stickers with the skull Assume this is the small. Oh, we got another chrome sticker there. There's that one. We got the skull. We got the triangle look. And of course, Jody Barton. And then here's the uh, little mini poster. So that's pretty cool. Find a little frame for that. Put it somewhere. And then it comes with an extra string, extra black string, um, with a bead. So, if you like a bead, you like a bead. Um, so we'll get this stuff out of the way. Alright, so, to start things off, uh, we got the Chrome AK shape, which, like I said, is very different for me. Um, it's like very aggressive on the, the ring stall, the handle stall. Um, you know, the handle is kind of skinny itself. It looks like the cups are pretty big. Um, and on the bottom, of course, you got the war pole, balance bevel, whatever you want to call it. I think Chrome calls it the war pole. 
Yeah. Um, so for the paint, I got this really nice pink color with these skeletons chilling, thinking, thinking their thoughts. And the clear is the chrome sticky LOL clear or LOL clear. I don't, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but uh, we'll just go with LOL clear. Um, super sticky. I mean, you could definitely compare it to uh, like a sweet sticky or you know any other sticky paint that's out there. But that's pretty. That's pretty sticky. Yeah, that's nice. So for the Tama, we got that little thought bubble at top, kind of give you that uh, placement of where the top of the Tama is. And then around the bevel, we got some skulls, which is super cool. That's a really cool way to you know, make a tracker. In the middle, we got those skeletons that are just lounging, having some thoughts, you know, just chilling. Um, but yeah, this is a really cool design. I really like this, especially for spooky season um, but other than that I mean it's just cool and different than what I've seen before so yeah I really like that let's get into the Ken um, it's got a couple of engravings around it so in the big cup we got uh, skeleton with his head off doing a little dance it looks like and on top of the uh, stall points we got some bones um, pretty nice for the grip when you're going for the nightingale or the bird um, just pretty cool so my favorite part is the hit on the sword itself. It says, wasted time tasted fine with a coffin and a clock on it. So that's pretty cool. Um, you know, nice and spooky, nice and dark. As for the string, it comes with uh, about, I would say, maybe seven or eight finger string. Um, you know, ready right out of the box if you like to do those juggles or any other type of trick that you're doing that, you know, calls for a longer string. It's ready to go. So after playing with it for a couple weeks, you know, like I said, it is very different from what I play with, but uh, you know, it's different in a really good way. Um, I put a lot of use into this one. Um, it's been breaking in really well. Um, you know, the bevel is, let's see if you can see that. Breaking in real nice. Paint is chipping away nice and good. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's been almost a daily jammer for me. Um, and that's why I got another one. I figured I would uh, run through it pretty quick and I'd want a fresh one decently quick. So, I mean, I definitely recommend getting the AK shape at least. I mean, I don't know how much longer these will be in stock. Uh, they also got the orange one for the um, Halloween type of theme, which is really cool. I just like the pink a little better. Um, there's a lot of different components that make it feel different than, you know, you, you know your uh, Sweets Boost or um, any sort of GT shape or the Soul 1-Up shape. Um, definitely a lot different than all of those. So yeah, definitely probably going to be buying some more AK shapes from Chrome. So a little bit on Jody. Um, he is a graphic designer from uh, the UK um, and he's got a company called Black Humors um, that he runs out of Japan and uh, he just does a lot of dope art. Um, I actually bought an art piece off of him. Um, it's kind of the same exact little theme of these kendamas. It's a uh, yay big poster um, with the chillin' skeleton having a little thought bubble. So um, definitely go check him out on Instagram. Real, real great graphic artist. Definitely dope that uh, Chrome teamed up with Jody. So the top things I would say this Dama is pretty great for is uh, Lunar for one. The Lunar balance is pretty insane. I've had quite a few level ups with this uh, Dama itself. Um, I would say Ken flips and J-sticks, those types of things are nice. Uh, Cause I don't know, it just feels like the Ken flips in a really easy way and it's easy to track I don't know I don't know what it is but uh, it's a lot of fun to kind of figure out what it's good for and stuff like that so all right that's all I got for you today I'm definitely gonna be jamming this one a lot um, I hope you go get yourself one too and you like it just as much as I do um, but as for now peace out and I'll see you in the next one